to have a little peek behind the scenes of a talent agency, then we have got just got the show, the show for, you. for you. It's almost like reality out there with Amazing. top tier celebrities <laughs> playing themselves and the star study cast playing their agents. There's tears and laughter to be had at Nightingale Heart, the fictional agency at the centre of 10%. Take a look. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh. What a trailer! Oh. Uh, Lydia Leonard and Harry Trevoldwin join us now. Good to have you with us, oh, guys. Oh, so lovely to Thank see you. Thank you. Very so nice to be us. here, yeah. So, it tell us about so this good. show. It looks so great. Oh, good. Yeah, no, it's, uh, well, it's, it's uh, like the popular French show called My Agent. It's the same premise that follows the staff. Or in... Dick's Percent, uh, if you do speak. Very, yeah, if you think very <laughs> like good myself. French like that. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. Yeah. Dick's Percent. Dick's yeah, Percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Percent. Um, the staff of a top talent agency, like you saw, uh, sort of hustling their clients, keeping their A-list, but you know, uh, famous actor clients happy while juggling their personal, personal. and professional yes. lives. Is the idea they take inspiration from the French uh, version? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it was um, based off the French version. And did you see that? Yeah, That's I was. Fun, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I was like, I was right in the middle of like binge watching it when the audition came through, and then I had to like immediately stop because it was far too much pressure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. The same. And but it starts exactly the same. Well, very similar. Episode one, then almost immediately goes. It's yeah. Goes in. It sort of diverges. So it's so. Because um, I guess yeah, it's not exactly has to change in terms of the cameos that you get as yeah. well for those yeah, cameos. Yeah. That, so the actors and actresses are playing themselves. So that, I guess that, that would lend itself for their storylines that, you know, specific storylines to go off and... On yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, and just, yeah, and it's just like, I, I suppose it's got a much more like English element to mm. it, whereas the French one is like incredibly chic and they like... Yeah, we're not as cool. Yeah, we're not as cool. And so John basically. Morton wrote us, who did W1A, so he's yeah. got quite a lot of that kind of, you know, shambolic. Hapless, British thing. It made yeah. me laugh in my notes where you said, Harry, that, uh, that the French have this, you know, that they're a bit more direct, whereas whereas ours is like, what was it, drowning in passive aggressiveness. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just like, it's just like <laughs> saying, saying every possible thing except the thing you mean. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, like my character, like, will go say a million different things rather than just be like, can I do this? Yeah. Just be like, yes, um, but, oh my God, no. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And the thing is, you don't actually find out who the celebrity characters are until really late notice, is that right, Lydia? Yeah, well, because of their schedules, and then, of course, COVID made everything extra complicated as well. But we had, I mean, brilliant guests. We've got oh. Helena Bonham Carter and Don West, Phoebe Dinover, um, Emma, Emma Corrin, Corrin. Like, Hamesh Patel, that's like, yeah. amazing. Yeah, David Harewood, I mean, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant people, Kelly McDonald. Uh, but yeah, it was quite a final set, wasn't it? Because it was quite a long shoot. So we, behind the scenes, would off, he'd be, wouldn't know until the last minute. So he'd be speculating about, yeah. you know, we're trying to cast episode four, episode five. Yeah, five-ish. yeah, yeah. But Giving I, our suggestions, but they were probably like, amazing, just like Jay Listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and we wouldn't really know until so in the makeup room, you'd have like pictures of who was going to be, and then eventually it would finally be announced, and their photo would be up on the wall, and we were like, ah! Perfect. Yeah. And you're like, absolutely, they're the right Yeah, imagine I was like, that was the wrong choice, guys. Bad. <laughs> 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 it's a big ask, I guess, isn't it? Because you're asking those actors to come in, play themselves, almost always send themselves oh, up to a point, right? Yeah, it's yeah. And, and, you know, and play a kind of heightened version. But they, but they can't be too caricature. They've still got to play yeah. a version of themselves, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Which, I, yeah. Did you know anyone before? Because Jack was no. quite a good friend. I went to draw school anyway, with Olivia Williams, and he said that was really weird because he's... Knows playing her personally. a character yeah. with his friend who's yeah. playing a herself, well, a version of herself. So it's yeah. also quite a bit confusing. I think also it must be like I would take it as such a compliment if someone was like, "You were successful enough to play a version of yourself." I'd be like, "Great, <laughs> amazing, <laughs> fantastic." I'll be asking you. Soon. I can fit, yeah. find time in the diary. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, just about. <laughs> I've got to say, I am slightly obsessed with you, Harry, because I do follow you on social media. I follow oh. you on TikTok, and I can't believe that you did this off your own back throughout the pandemic, just funny little skits, and now you're in a series like this. I mean, do you ever sit down and think, wow, look at my life? Only on, on this sofa do I sit down <laughs> and think that. No, yeah, it, it's been, it's been, I mean, it was such an amazing, like, because it's my first telly job, yeah. and to work with, like, Lydia and just, like, phenomenally talented people was just, like, Incredibly, yeah. Yeah. So Harry, give us your background story. What's your What's your 1994 February? No, I, <laughs> I, um, yeah. So, so I um, started like um, over well before lockdown. I was kind of doing comedy sketches because I'm a writer and an actor, um, but I didn't really know how to get into the industry. So I just kind of put things online, and it was only really my friends that followed me at the time. And then, yeah, over lockdown, I, people were trapped in front of their computers yeah. and they had to watch it. Um, <laughs> and so more and more people uh, got more traction, I guess, would be a term. Mm. 
And, and yeah, and then through that, I kind of got some development opportunities to write scripts and then also an amazing agent. Um, and then, yeah, and this was mm. the, I got, um, did a film and then this and is my first... And all from season. social media, it's incredible. Yeah, social media is amazing for you, it turns out. I don't know what people... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you no, know, it was, it was... It's what, what's it like to work with media? Oh, it, it was it dreadful. <laughs> Best not say. No, it was, it was a real treat. The whole thing was, because it's like, it's an office uh, comedy, but it's also... Like in the show, a family, and we were. It was yeah. really like a family. It was wasn't so it? Like, so nice. We all got yeah. on it so nice to film me in London because most of us live and. Um, yeah, it was a happy, happy few months. Yeah, like and there was so much like off time in it. the office. The, the way that it was set out, it was like a real office. So it did kind of feel like you were in between like takes and stuff like that. It would just feel like you were working in an office, <laughs> yeah. like, like talking by the working computers <laughs> and being like, look at this. Like it was... Right. Yeah. Felt like Harry, back to work. Like, oh, shut up, I'm yeah. just talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That must be the lovely thing about working when you work with a big cast, is you have that opportunity to properly get to know different sorts of people and spend time with different people. It's not as yeah. intense, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like working it was, in an it office. It was a real ensemble, yeah. the whole yeah. thing. And, um, yeah, it was fun. Mm. The only difference is when you're an actor, though, you've got to wear the same clothes like every single day, <laughs> so it matches up the scene before. It's so yeah. weird. Yeah, and especially if you're kind of doing like three <laughs> days in a yeah. single, it just looks like if you did that in an office, you'd be yeah, unhinged you'd like... for having three outfit changes yeah. and being like, surprise. <laughs> we've actually got some people here. It's quite odd. So it's in life of rotating art, but we've so some of our team actually work on the show as well. So I think we have our floor manager Jack, who's he's, he's been in your over show there, right here. Hi, but Jack is there. Hi. We, are, we like to keep him in the show. Yeah. <laughs> there Jack. he is, there he is in the background. Oh, is it? Oh, of course. Wait, it? Oh, yeah. If you blink, yeah. if you blink yeah. you'll miss it. <laughs> and we've also, and also our director Nick, as well. Nick, who's directing today, um, uh, also does a turn. We've got a camera in the show. There, there he is. is. That's him on the, the right there. Ah. That's our Nick. That's the director who's talking to us in our ears. Oh, right. Right. Hey. Yeah, that is a oh, big crossover. It? It's, it's the show of the stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's the show of the stars. Yeah. Yeah. Lydia, I've got to say, uh, Gentleman Jack. Oh, it's just going great. from strength to strength. Yeah. It's a, uh, you must be so proud of that show. I really am. I mean, it's, well, yeah, it's a show I really feel very humbled and exactly proud to be part of because it means a lot to lots of people. And I just, it's, yeah, it's a brilliant piece of writing, working with Saran. And Sally Wainwright has been a... Great, great. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, pleasure. Well, and that's you've... sort of great. Like, it's a massive hit and it's a sleep hit at the same time, isn't it, Gentleman Jack? Yeah. It's one of those shows that you sort yeah. of almost caught you unawares when you, were, when you started watching it. So yeah. brilliant for that. Yeah. It always it... leaves you kind of like edge of your seat style. Oh, good, yeah. And it's, I mean, it's taken quite a lot of time getting season two out again with COVID and all sorts of other things that happen. But it's great that it's not... It isn't, you know, that it's, it, it is what it's supposed to be, which is a big mainstream show. It's not a niche show. Yeah. It's not, mm. And the fact that it's reached... A, the, you know, the, the wide audience is, um, is great, yeah. yeah. And you're joining the crown. Yeah. You're smashing life. Who are you going to be playing <laughs> in the crown? Who's it going to be? I should Can you say yes. Go on, release. <laughs> Come on, release. Well, I think I'm an actor. I mean, yeah, I'm not an actor, but on, just already, everyone us. already knows. So, on, so I, I play Cherie Blair, but I was just <laughs> listening to Harry Don't Hill talking about his uh, musical and... Yeah. She's now also playing Tree Bear in the rock song. opera of Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've talked to her in the dress. Yeah. That's so well. I can actually see that resemblance. Oh, how exciting. How, what about you? You're doing, tell us about Billy. What's the... Yeah, oh, so... Uh, oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's really good. Um, is she yeah. in that as well? Yeah. yeah no, so it's not, <laughs> nobody <laughs> else. You'll see it. And it's honestly nobody else. It looks like I'm terrible at sharing because it's just on me. Um, but, yeah, it's a Channel 4 Black, which is kind of like a pilot uh, for Channel 4 that I um, wrote and am in. Um, that's the first thing that I've sort of written and am in that is... Yeah, you can see how bad I am at sharing. Nobody, nobody else is allowed. No-one else is even in focus. No. <laughs> just, just you. And that was my one non-negotiable. Um, but, yeah, so that's... What's that. really funny is there is actually a TikTok of you saying a writer wanting to be an actor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like... so it's just made me think about that TikTok you do. You've got to follow him on TikTok. He's oh. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, congratulations to both, both of you. It's a, oh, an amazing you. show. When's it on? I know, I'm doing it now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, 10% is available now on Amazon Prime. Oh, on Amazon, yeah. yeah. Amazon Prime. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, us. Guys. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah.